law shall perish. That used to be the prison. Oh. Well, it's not the prison anymore now. That is that is used by the police as officers and also living quarters. You mean the police live there? The young ones who are not waking. Oh. Oh. I mean who are not married, I should say. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to go up to that water tower, which is the highest of the, of the island, to October. That's our rainy and hurricane season. This is the one. Now, there's a damn if you got sick at the hotel. The police hospital will bring you to. They start building down on the left. All of those buildings are the government hospital built there in 1952. It was then named the Bahamas General Hospital. In 1955, Princess Margaret of England made a visit to these islands. And on the color of visit, the name of that hospital you see at the left there was changed to the Princess. Hold on to your hats, Jess. You'll lose it for sure. That's a battleship there, Dave. Oh, wow. Give me the report. Here, take a picture of that. That was my own. Let's go. I'm getting it right now. You go in down our remembrance of the long. Get up. Long get by the rail. Victoria. Ready. She of me on the road for 16, 6 years. With the goodness she has done in all of us, she has done 16, 6 steps. With time after time, carry One of those steps is very down to the bottom of the ground. It is only 25. The underground spring belt is at the section down. I'm going to show you my little wire. Okay. Ah, Paradise Alley. That's the alley that's in the house. Who once was on the alley and stayed at the governor's house. Now, if you want white right top with the two flags are waving, that is the governor's house. Duke Industrious of Windsor used to stay there for five years during the Second World War. If you came into the Nassau Harbor, that's where all the crews vessel accommodate. That thing building at the waterfront is the Sheraton British Colonial Hotel. The largest post office, this large construction building, is right there. Are there any questions? The Again? Fort Finn Castle. And who are you? I got a Chevy. Oh. Put it on standby and go hop up there and run. Go ahead, I'll take a picture of you. Put it on standby. Get this side now. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, and you are on camera. Say what? Say hi. Hi. Welcome to the Bahamas. Okay, right. Thank you. Hey, baby, what's the name of this? Okay. It is called that. That's where they kept those bad boys over there in that black hole, right there. Here you go, baby. Of course, there's something for that. Of course, <laughs> I got you close up. There's your face. <laughs> This is a stretch and rack. Recording. Come on, girl. You need to decide. That's my money. We have plenty of it there. What's the problem? Hey, Carla. Try to make it closer and try something smaller. Carla. Or no, it's an emergency. Well, this was an emergency. I got far away. My emergency. Get a closer. Hey! Carla! What's happening? Come on! Here, Carla. Oh my god! Uh, Maddie? There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, uh, Hi. Uh, guys, you won't believe who's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Baby. Carla. Hi, Carla. I'll see if I can make her smile. Carla. There you go. Hey, go. I make it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not friends. Carla! Uh, hey! Say something, Maddie! Ah! Got me on the side of Carla! Da, 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 da. Okay. Does he run? He's dying to see da, 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 da. You know, your brother is a genius, the Michelangelo of him. You don't have a friend told me. You like this one, but you believe in it? Oh, friend and daughter! <laughs> Well, hello, Matthew. <laughs> 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 There you go. Don't get Louis too deeply staring to the TV. Okay. Sorry. Isn't it nice that one of us could give him a Yeah, Say hi, Grandma. Hi. Hey, Carla, get down there. I'm going to see myself. I'm supposed okay, to take a check this Okay, now kiss. I'll get the book. We'll discuss it when I see cash. And then... Uh, and this is that little baby born August 20th, 1993. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh. And there's Carla crying. Let's get a close-up. Oh. Carla. Baby. Carla, Carla! Carla, 
Carla. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, Charlie Carla. Okay, far away. Hey, baby, how are you? How are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing here? What's the name of this lady, lady there? This is Carly Ann at six and a half months. Seven months now, ma. What's the date today? Of what month? March 21st, 1994. And little Carla was born when? August 20th. How many pounds? Six pounds, <laughs> okay, let's see. Carla, one more time. Come on. Carly Ann. There's a girl. Look at that beautiful face. It's <laughs> my There you go. Sure. There you go. And she's stinky too. Who? No, Carla? No. No, 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 stinky way, Carla. Dad, 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 dad. Dad, 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 dad. Louis is busy concentrating in the TV. Juan's concentrating into the TV. It's a good movie. There we go. Carla! How are you and them, baby? How are you doing? Carla! Carla! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, pups! How you doing, Grandma? What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that land again, George, was located. It's about 30 feet of water out here on the port side. All the beachfront property that's out here on the starboard side of the Yukon. Starboard side is the right side. Mackerel is a private resort here in the Bahamas. We like to call it the Beverly Hills of the Bahamas. We just stayed there for you guys looking for a summer cottage for acres around $1.5 million an acre. Now, a lot of life of key here was actually, uh, so some parts of it was actually swamp land and it was built up. You guys came on a cruise ship or you flew in here? Flew. No. Cruise ship? Flew, no. okay. You have a chance to go on the main area in town on Bay Street and notice the dock where all the cruise ships came in. Well, all that area there is actually built up. It's actually packed sand. And they actually built it up so that the tour buses and taxis can go all the way out to the cruise ships. All the beaches 
coming out here on the west area on the beach strip. A lot of that area there is also built up. I fly about one to two feet off the surface. Right next to the submarine here, yellow tail snappers, yellow tails, yellow horizontal stripes, they're also on the port side, yellow tail snappers. They are pretty aggressive when they are feeding. They will take his fingers along with the food if his fingers get in the way. These guys are very aggressive when feeding. You will see the name of the yellowtail snapper on the menu at just about every restaurant. Here we have a nice large soft call here on the port side. Standing straight up. About 20 feet away from the submarine, we call it a Gorgonian because it resembles Medusa from Greek mythology. Plays with a snake's hairstyle. It's on the starboard side, tubular structures, slender in shape, has a large opening at the top, tube sponge. Right now on the sand here on the starboard side, nice green base sponge. Very large opening at the top with a dial stand on the end forming a base. Small yellow fish here on the starboard side right now they lie on top of each other, forming like a shelf or a bookshelf here. You can only see a brown algae actually going on top of them. The plane calls, they normally find these guys in, in deeper water and because of that they spread themselves out flat so they can have a larger surface area so they can absorb more sunlight. being Stuart Cove. The Royal James was sunk on purpose in 1988 to create an artificial reef. And this is the perfect resting place for a dive boat. The area that we're in is explored by all the dive shops here. They brought scuba divers to explore the wrecks on the reef system. The Royal James is 70 feet in length. And this make a nice building block here for the soft calls. Also provide a hiding place for the small juvenile fish here. To hide out from the larger predators. Right now you can see some 
fins and they have a dark vertical stripe coming down the sides of the head there. Now we see the butterfly fish traveling in pairs. Its eye looks like a teardrop. The law used to be a male boat, what we call a freighter, carrying cargo. That passed this from island to island here in the Bahamas with two of its main destinations being the island of Exuma and Cat Island. Here you have a nice midnight blue part fish over the framework and you see it expelling there and that's it's expelling sand. Now 30% of the sound you guys see down here is actually produced by the parrot fish. The bubbles that you guys see, they're coming up from the small crack and feathers in the glory. Well, they're actually trapped air that was left there by scuba divers exploring the interior of the glory. Sand bed that the owners didn't want to pay, so they decided to get rid of this boat, which was pretty old, so they sunk it on purpose which creates a night artificial reef for the soft poles to go on this wreck. Only sits in about 40 feet of water. So if you guys actually look through the top of your viewport, you can actually see the surface. Yep. Snapper right here. See the reddish brown? There's the white teardrop. Dog snapper. And here you have the larger bluefish here on the starboard side. These guys are called Creole wrasse. The, the reddish brown here, fish right here next to the sun when it gets past, that's a mutton snapper. See there though. Looking down on the bow, on the stern of the below, you will see a crane parrot fish, dark in color with a white horizontal stripe on its sides. Queen powerfish. We friendly now. Mm -hmm. we follow a submarine around. We have a blue angel fish there. Here on the port side. The tips of its fins, the it's yellow. But we didn't look on the sides there, that's a actually take a close look at the person sitting directly next to you. Notice some color changes in their clothing. Color their lips, tongue, teeth, fingernail polish, lipstick. They wait you are wearing red right now. Well, red would look more burgundy. We're wearing pink, going towards maroon. And this is because of the color spectrum colors in the rainbow and the first color to go is red at 50 feet. The deeper we go, light is filtered out of your clothing. Colors of the rainbow, first color being is red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and then violet. that great drop off, the tongue of the Atlantic Ocean, right here on the starboard side. Going off the wall, you guys won't see much coral growing. Coral stops growing around 150 to 200 feet. And this is because the temperature of the water is too cold for the coral to actually grow in. Going off the wall, you will see a sudden change in temperature, what we call a thermal climb. Just like seeing the heat waves coming up from off the road when you're driving sudden change in temperature. Here we have some school master snappers right here on the port side, yellow fence. 
reddish brown color there just sitting there on the sofa. As I told you earlier, the sand is produced, 30% of the sand down here is produced by the parrotfish. I know that you guys, if you haven't had the opportunity yet to take that nice stroll on the beach, well, 30% of the sand is bound by the current or the waves here. Yeah, is done by these tentacles taken inside the mouth where it is digested. Here you have a school of yellow goldfish right here on the starboard side. Yellow tails. Feel is red, called is by feeding, is used to protect its territory. You may ask the question why you call feed sunlight if they're actually animals. Well, 50% of the coral polyp is actually algae. And this is what the parrotfish is trying to get at when he bites into the coral. and the animals, which are the corals down here, they interact just how plants and animals do on land. We call it a symbiotic relationship. They're, they de actually depend on each other to survive. The algae are feet of the waste products from the corals, and in turn, they produce a food source through the process of photosynthesis for the coral to survive. vessel on the surface at all times as we have no periscope like a regular Navy sub. Gentleman on the sub tracker is known as the surface officer and he basically controls the whole show from the surface. Let's us know if any dive boat such as the one just off there is moving into the area. But we don't want to come up underneath something like that and lift it completely out of the water. It would kind of ruin their day. Wouldn't do our fiberglass paint job much good either. Pete's now just securing the main hatch. He'll then pull away in subtracker and give the submarine permission to vent and dive. What will happen is the pilot will open the air ballast tanks, releasing the air. Submarine is being ballasted at the moment so that it is just slightly positively buoyant. We then have to use large vertical thrusters to actually follow. We give her permission to vent and die. Here goes the mist. Air ballast tanks are open. She will now drop down to deck level. Situation we call decks awash. Then you'll see two large plumes of water come up just forward of the white structure there with Atlantis written on it, which we call the sail or conning tower, so known as the fair water. There go the vertical thrusters and she's now actually being forced under the surface. Once the sail has gone completely under, then the mast and the small black antenna will disappear. At that point we're no longer able to communicate with
Where is this place? Cross Island. Huh? Cross Island. Oh, really? Driving okay. seat, Russo. Oh, come on. Let them walk back. Come on, dude. after they're born, the hair just falls out. All mammals are born in hair. You'll be able to see a lot of marks on the bodies of Jake and Pat now on their teeth marks. They use their teeth on each other like we use our fingernails, a big form of walkway for them. Jake, you see, has a lot more marks than Pat Man. Pat Man is the most dominant, and he's always beating up on Jake. The princess is involved. Come on, let's have a belly button. There is Pat Man's belly button. Very good for Jake. Yeah. <laughs> they have any 
anywhere between 88 to 120 sharp teeth, the root juice that teeth provide, only for grasping onto the food out in the wild and the food that you feed them. You don't want to eat the local fish that swim around here because we don't know what bacteria this fish contain. If a dolphin wants to get sick, the first thing they will lose is the appetite just like us. So that's why we always feed them dead fish and when you stop eating the dead fish, then we know something's wrong. But if they eat the live fish out there, we wouldn't know when they are sick. That dorsal fin that you see on their back is a stabilizer for them, and this is what keeps them upright in the water. Without this dorsal fin, they would roll over and over like the bar, it's full of cartilage, similar to the cartilage in our air. It's very flexible. It works with them like they keep the feet upright in the water. Thanks a lot, Jake and Batman. Very good for The Burger King in Pizza Hut is always delivered. All those fucking fish in the meat guys know. Now we're feeding them all the food today. Yeah. That's not good at all, Jake. That's not good at all. You guys are gonna say hello. Say hello, guys. Thank you. 
Come this way, Debbie. Turn the other way, Debbie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 